I knew I wanted to be a professional athlete the second I started playing soccer when I was four years old. Um, I knew soccer for me was a natural fit. It was something that I didn't even have to think about doing. It was something that I didn't have to think about being good at. I just was. And so every time I stepped on the field, even the moments before I stepped on the field, it was the most joyous and happy time of my life. And it was a sport that I just, it came easy to me. And it was something that I loved through and through to my bones and and, and something that I knew I, I wanted to pursue um, throughout my entire life. And I still play to this day. Um, and so when I started to, you know, receive a lot of accolades and, and recognition for playing sport, it just furthered that mission, that personal mission to pursue it to the highest level that I possibly could. And for me, that was professional soccer. And so I worked incredibly hard um, in elementary school, in middle school, in high school. I worked even harder at the end of high school to make sure that I got recruited to college to play soccer because I knew that that was the next step for me before professional. And so I took advantage of being recruited to hundreds of colleges across the country to make sure that I went to a place that both had a very strong soccer program, but even better academic program as well. So I was able to leverage my athletic accomplishments to benefit my academic standing. And so going to an Ivy League institution for me was the perfect decision. Um, I knew then and there that I wanted to continue to play. Uh, I knew that I could use uh, a collegiate sport as a, as a a jumping board, uh, you know, to propel me into professional sports. And so I worked equally hard in college as I did in high school to make sure that I was recruited after college to play sports. And I will say that it was um, one of the most devastating times in my life when after college I did not get immediately drafted to play soccer um, professionally. It was one of the first times in my life that I felt defeated that I didn't get what I wanted. You know, I'd worked so hard and I thought it was going to happen and it didn't. Um, and I look back at that moment in time in my life as one of the most critical junctures of my life where I had to make the most difficult decision, which was, do I hang up my boots now and not play anymore? Or do I continue to move on and, and pursue this dream that I had, even though I failed, right, at one time? And I made the decision to keep playing. Um, you know, I knew soccer was not something that I could just wash out of me that would just go away. It was part of me in a way that it was undeniable. And I had to pursue those feelings and that love. And so I played a couple years of semi-pro all the while with the intent and goal of being drafted to play professionally. And after two years, it paid off. Um, I won two national championships with my semi-professional teams. Took me all across the country to do that, which was fantastic. And finally got the call to join the Boston Breakers uh, because of those efforts that I'd put in the two pre years previous. And I, I remember that phone call to this day on my cell phone that was, you know, Becca, this is the Boston Breakers. We've we've seen your career over the last two years and we want you to come down to Boston University and, and practice with us tomorrow. And I said, I'll be right over today if you need me to. Um, and so it was just one of the best phone calls I've ever received in my life. I had tried out for teams in North Carolina, California, New York, Philadelphia, and hadn't made any of those teams and didn't even bother playing for Boston because they were one of the best teams. And when I got the call from Boston, I remember being like, the Boston Breakers want me? Wait, what? Um, yeah, it was, it was unbelievable. It was unbelievable.